Redwire, a new company, relatively new, operates in the civil, commercial, and national security space. The company is positioning itself to be a leader in advancing the future of space infrastructure. And right now, the company is breaking major news right here on Making Money. I want to bring in uh, Redwire Space CEO, Peter Canito. And Peter, uh, you know, I know part of your model is transforming the future of so many things, including the future of pharma. Uh, on that score, you've got some major news. Yeah, that's right. Uh, today, we're announcing the formation of a venture company, a wholly owned subsidiary of Redwire called Space MD. Uh, Space MD is going to be exclusively focusing on the commercialization of uh, our proven on orbit uh, drug manufacturing capability. What's the advantage? I mean, you know, I remember as a kid, uh, every now and then they, the, one of these flights would take a plant with them or something, you know, uh, uh, you know and, and, but is there an advantage to actually developing drugs in, in outer space? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, when you first starting to explore uh, the molecules uh, that are identified uh, for prospects in the drug pipeline, uh, you use crystals of these molecules in order to study them, to understand their potential eff efficacy, to understand uh, the different ways you can deliver these drugs, to really understand all of their uh, attributes. Uh, so what Redwire does is we have a, a proprietary technology called Pillbox that takes these molecules into space and grows their crystals. And because in space they're uh, it doesn't have the effect of gravity, because you're actually in microgravity, you can grow a more pure form of the crystal that, when brought down to Earth, can be studied and has uh, a higher fidelity, uh, can build a higher fidelity model of mm -hmm. the compound itself. And, and, and I think people remember back to, uh, you know, trying to get the, the vaccine, for instance, just how complicated this process can be. It's a long, co uh, costly process. So I don't, I don't know if a lot of folks realize just what you're saying is, is actually massive news. I want to shift, though. Let's, let me ask you about the, the Golden Dome military work that you're doing, the role of AI, particularly at the uh, future of warfare. Yeah, well, Golden Dome uh, is is critical, and uh, and it's important uh, part of our national security. And uh, with the emergence of AI, it's absolutely important uh, that the Golden Dome take advantage of AI and uh, advanced uh, advancements in engineering, like digital engineering, uh, in order to bring Golden Dome uh, to market or, or into uh, operation uh, as quickly as the administration wants to do it. Manufacturing on the moon and Mars, is this, is, for lack of a better word, uh, a sort of a moonshot? <laughs> is it real? <laughs> well, I think it's really real. NASA obviously has a uh, well out plan uh, for Artemis to return uh, humans to the moon and ultimately start to create a permanent presence there. And that's just the beginning. Uh, their, the uh, administration has also talked about their aspirations uh, to going to Mars. Uh, and Redwire as a space infrastructure is uh, playing a critical role in first going to the moon and ultimately going to Mars. You know, Peter, I've always been infatuated with uh, space as a kid and as an adult. Uh, I made a, just made a score on Rocket Labs. Uh, my subscribers have some of these stocks, including yours. The stock is relatively, you know, a, a relatively young chart. It's, it's got it's a beautiful looking chart. Uh, what do you tell the new shareholders, though? Like, what should new shareholders understand about your company? Well, I think what they have to understand is uh, uh, that space uh, is the long game. Uh, so uh, we're at what I believe is the beginning of a second golden era in space, uh, not only uh, uh, the expansion into space for governments, but for commercial purposes as well. And that's what Space MD is all about. Space MD for us is, uh, and as far as I'm aware, one of the first businesses that's going to be focusing on the commercialization of technologies uh, that were developed as experiments on the International Space Station. So uh, space is a big part of our future economy. No, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, and I think more and more people realize that and that there are companies like yours trying to blaze a trail there. Congratulations on the news. Thank you. All right, see you soon, Peter.